If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Alright, game we can win. Game we can win, please. Game we can win off of the back of, like, Kumina Speaker, Miss Binder, Miss Binder, Miss Binder. That, that's still only four green cards. Tyler. Hi. Hello. It's Medea's Arena. Ooh, um... You know what? This is fine. Hmm, okay. Budget decks, I like them. Put it in tapped, and say go. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Whale. I'm just not going to let my opponent get a footing. We're going to do this early. I'm going to do it starting right about now. Just don't let my opponent do anything. I, I'm not a big fan of this deck. I, I rather dislike the, the style of the deck. But, oh well. That's just like my opinion, man. I will say, though, it, it feels a little infecty. And that part's kind of cool. It's a very technical term, by the way, infecty. Okay. So, we're gonna cheat. Uh, we're gonna probably start off... Ooh, wait, no, no. No, this is only when it's attacking. Hmm, okay. So, there are things I can do here. I have a trickster. I can... Wait for them to attack with Vanguard. Block. Wait for them to give it indestructible. And then trickster it. But if I do that, I don't have the... I don't have it for Arcanist. I think that's okay. I could also try to double block Arcanist here. Jeez. Jeez. Well, at least that's a shock that doesn't go on to the Deep Root Elite. Vanguard. Alright, Vanguard. Alright. Can make you lose four life. That's not nothing. Alright, pay four. Do it! Yep, alright, cool. If you consider four life a card, eh, that's okay, that's a one for one. Deep Root Elite, Silvergill, Reveal Silvergill. Let's try that. I mean, when they attack with Dreadhorde Arcanist, they're going to shock me. So, maybe I should have done Water Trap Weaver instead. Or not they're going to shock me, they're going to shock Elite, I mean to say. Um, that said, if they do that, so I'm going to put the counter here on Silvergill Adept. If you attack and just want to shock the Elite, I'm going to be able to kill it, uh, kill your Arcanist. 
If you shock to deal with Adept, I'll still have the Elite. So I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Tenth District Legionnaire, Mentor, Haste, excuse me. Haste, oh, this thing, okay. That's fine, that's fine. All right, I still have the Elite. I can live with that. Do I want to force them to pay for life? We're not in a great shape here. We're not in great shape. Make him pay for. If I had two two drops here, or a guarantee of a land, then okay, so it's fine. It it kind of worked out, I guess. Hmm. Do we want to trap the Archon? They have no cards in their graveyard. We're gonna go for it. I could use another land anyway. We are going to go for it. Let's see what we can get. Mistbinder. That's that's not bad. Uh, trick is I still don't have another land, but I, I can operate on four. It's just it's just tough. We'll do library, library. Hey, it's a four three. Hey, it's a four three. Clap clap. All right. Scry one. Cool. All right. Hmm. Plus one plus one then scry one. There's feather. There you are. There you are. I knew you'd show up. Um, yeah, we're not gonna block this one. It's, it's tricky. We're, we're gonna die next turn. Unfortunately, because that's how that works. Alright, let's see what they have. Well, they're, they're tapped out. Never mind. They don't have anything. They do not. And you're a 3-4. Okay. Well, not for nothing, but it's not particularly great uh, the spot that I'm in right here. I am going to die next turn. Like, that's, that's just how it is. So we'll draw a card. Reveal Mistbinder first. Do that first. A trickster would be okay, but and no, actually it wouldn't, because a lot of their spells are instants that they can use on Feather, so they'll just do them right then. Another water trap weaver. All right, well. <coughs> yeah, about the only way I get out of this is if I can stall for just long enough uh, and just hope that they somehow magically don't have it. They do. They absolutely do. They always do. They've only so far cast shock. They haven't cast any pump spells yet. There's one. Plus one plus one or plus one plus oh and what? Draw a card? What's the other thing? Yeah, that's it. Defiant Strike. Yeah, that's, that's not great. Wait a minute. Aren't you Okay, that's more like it. Okay. That targets a creature you control. It's not something I'm looking forward to next turn, at all. We're just gonna play a Jade Light Ranger and concede.
I think the, the play to win version of this is uh, play a Water Trap Weaver on the Legionnaire. Um, but at this point, we're not winning anyway. So I'm just not even going to bother. I'm going to get an extra green card. Actually, if I could stall for one more turn, then I guess I could instead... Oh, there's Reckless Rage. Okay. Instead, I could play the Water Trap Weaver and then do the Jade Light Ranger. I'm not even sure I do survive that, though. Being honest, I don't know. Let's look at Feather again. At the beginning of the next end step. So they're going to Defiant Strike here. Yeah. And you're tiny, too. Oh. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Thank you for playing. Hmm. I may not be a big fan of the deck, but it's it's undeniably good. It is the most like Tom Ross deck in the format right now. And that's that's saying something. That's pretty neat. Alright, can we go back to the winning streak, please? I would like to win three more so that I can get 50 coin card 50 coins. And then just maybe. Oh, you know what? I didn't see what my card I got was, did I? For uh for winning five. Oops. Oops. Insert bulk uncommon, in all likelihood. I don't know, I did get a, a mythic lately. I got a Liliana Dreadhorde something or other, Dreadhorde General. That was the last mythic that I got from the... Uh, actually, that's the last card, notwithstanding the one I didn't see, from the uh, individual card reward. So maybe I got something neat. I don't know. I'll say that's a keeper. Merfolk is a, is a very good deck at keeping all kinds of hands. Alright. Well. Gonna play in full control again. Play an island. And it's just gonna give up my control for some reason. The game does not want me to bluff, is what we're understanding. When I attack surveil, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I feel a thought-bound phantasm coming. Alright. So it's a little cheeky, I think, to try to go... We could try to trickster it here, just to buy ourselves a turn. But I think that I'm supposed to save trickster for bigger fish to fry. Plus, it wouldn't hurt to get another land here. Ooh, hi. Hi. How many lands do we have? Not enough. Alas. And also, perhaps it's not the matchup for Tempest Caller. Alright, what you got? Shoutouts to fairies. Fairies are cool. Chart a course? Okay. Is this like the blue-white version of the mono-blue tempo deck? Is that what I'm seeing here? Okay. Now we can go... Kumina Speaker and then hold up Trickster. Why am I doing that pre-combat? Whatever. It, it totally matters. Let's see. Flash, flying, cool. Just a uh, just card draw. It works. It's pretty nice for a one or a one drop. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. We're gonna wait for them to actually attack first. Pass to attackers. That way they don't not attack because of what they're worried about. So let that resolve. So it doesn't, my trickster doesn't influence their decision here. And hello? There we go. Now we use trickster. 
and lo and behold, we get a free turn. It's like a Tempest Caller. It's a baby Tempest Caller. Alright, just in case, just in case we happen to get a Mistbinder. Let's reveal Kumina, because Kumina is not usually terrifying in this spot. Not usually. Ooh, okay. Ranger's fine. And then we're just going to spend the next two turns being absolute jerks to our opponent. Tempest Caller is fun. It's a real fun magic card. Trust me. MT Jesus says Tempest Caller is a real fun magic card. Doesn't actually matter. They're going to go full aggro anyway. I mean, they have to have something else here. Doesn't matter, we're gonna Tempest Call it. What you got? It's not another eagle, it's a... Please have more. Miscreant. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Well, we're not quite at lethal. We're one point shy of lethal. Still, if they don't have something else to pump their creatures up, we're going to win next turn. Put you to one. All right, fingers crossed. Oh, oh no! Okay, so if they did that when I wasn't representing lethal, they definitely have another one, because if they had played it on their turn, this would have been lethal. Yep, okay. Good game. Good game. Alright, well, that happened. That happened. That was kind of neat. That was kind of cool. Rumas, one more. Please win a game. Please win a game again, merfolk. I love you. I love you, fish. I love my fish friends. I might actually concede a little bit early on some of these if it looks like I'm going to lose because I'm trying to grind for that pack. Also, I should play some ranked while I can. While I have a uh, merfolk doing their thing. I don't know, season's almost over. Maybe not. Isn't it? Isn't the season almost over? Kind of want to be wrong about that, though. Well, can't play the speaker here. the shrine tapped. Let's go. Uh, th there's no way this misbinder lives, right? I'm supposed to play the speaker here, I believe. Just a really late Kumina speaker. Ridiculously late Kumina speaker. Knight of Grace. Uh oh. Okay. Well, we didn't draw another land. And this cares about black, so we're not going to see it be a 3 2 for a strike. That would not be good. That would make me sad. Oh, history. Okay. No blocks. No. Definitely not. Let's just keep them coming. I didn't know until just recently that History of Benalia is a mythic. It doesn't feel like a mythic to me. As strong as it is, I, I, I don't know. There's, there doesn't seem to be much that's mythic about the card. Ooh, okay. There's one. One down. Ooh. Sure, it's vigilant, so you might as well. Okay, well, we got a land. That's nice. This is about to go off. So the Water Trap Weaver... I'm going to take two... Yeah, I have to. I think I have to. I'm going to take two to trap one of the knights. They're all knights. 
I think maybe there's a case if I if I think I'm gonna get lucky for doing Jade Light Ranger instead. Because Jade Light can trade with something. Let's go for it. I could also use lands. Graveyard. Land. Alright. Let's not attack. Let's not say we didn't. Alright, well, that history is <laughs> gonna put in some work. Some work. Alright. Yeah, first strike is a pain. I'm glad they didn't have an Ajani or a Sorin to play out first, though. Corpse Knight. You know... Okay. Alright. One of you. And a speaker. And through the power of not first strike, <laughs> I can use both of these to clear out one of the knights. I only lose one creature, so it's still a one for one. Insert combat trick here, though. That would be my luck. There's something. You have something up your sleeve. I feel it. Don't know what, but I feel it. Alright. Hey. Hmm. Well. We're definitely reaching our rewards, at least. You know, it's it's not enough, but that's fine. I'll live with that. Let's not attack. Seems like a bad idea. We are very close to dead. Very close to dead. Take three. Cast down again. I dare you. Mortify. You got me. You got me. At this point, I'm not even playing for the rewards because I've already gotten 30 green cards, finally. Green creatures. Green spells. Whatever. What is it? Hey, 750. Well, if it's some consolation, let's go to the store. I'm actually looking for War of the Spark. Because there's a few cards in particular from here for which I'm looking. There are three, I believe. Jump out to me. Alright. What's it gonna be? Ooh, I saw that. That's not the one. That's not, that's not bad, though. That's nice. Huh. Okay, well, this pack wasn't great. No, it was, it was not great. Oh, well. That happens, I guess. Uh, let, let me get a few more in. I'd like to get those last three wins. I, I don't usually go for, um go for coins past 20, like, when I get to 25 coins each, I, I stop. That's, that's enough. That's fine. So, and then I'll show off the other deck. So if you'll stay for just a little bit longer, I'll show off Karn Mud.
Okay, this is fine. I think. Hmm. I did not get enough coffee. Let us see where this is going. Oh, hello. I could use a nap right now, I guess. Alright. I guess I didn't have to do that. I didn't. We're on our A game, folks. We're on our A game. I was gonna have to do that next turn anyway, though, so it's alright, I guess. I say, well, I could have drawn another land. Yeah. Maybe it won't matter. It didn't matter. Merfolk, in case there happened to be any doubt at all from anyone, gonna go to combat first. Hit you. Hit you with the yayas. Play a branch walker. Let it explore, see what we got, see what we have. It's a trickster. I could really use some lands. Sorry, bud. You're cool. You're really cool. But I could really use some lands. Like, really use some lands. Thought erasure, cheese. If you take the branch walker. Well, it, it doesn't. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, oracle. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess. Well, this is awkward. Um. So I can hit for seven here. I'm gonna do the branch walker instead, actually. Hey, got there. So I'm about to do five. I would have done seven. Um, which puts them at eleven. And then if Mistbinder connects with them next turn, that'd be nine. Unless there's another Mistbinder on the top. Okay, there wasn't. Well, now that I have three, I can do Ranger. So again, we're looking at seven damage, which is not significant enough, I think. Alright, let's see what we have to run out the Mistbinder yet. We can do that next turn. Oh, jeez. Okay. Just not get what you need? Hmm. I'm sorry, opponent. That can't feel good. Hey, and another pack. Cool. Let's open that pack. Open that pack. Alright, what do we get? Leyline of the Void. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm a fan. Sky Knight Vanguard and Devout Decree. Cool. Okay. I am so happy to see Leyline of the Void here. Alright, two more. Just two more, that's it. Well, two more, as in we gotta win this pack and then win the 50 coins. And then we'll be good. You know what, actually after this I'm gonna switch over to doing Karn Mud, and then we'll just go from there. Lige Kick. I don't know. Ooh. That's... Ah, oh, but I'm on the play. It's fine, I have a silver guild to draw me out. So it'll work. I'm gonna take full control and play an island. Let's see, next. And go to attackers and call it a day. Full control again. Hold up that opt that I totally have in my hand. Okay. Well, now. Silvergill revealing... So this is, this is interesting. I don't want to reveal any of these. Because Tempest Caller is a trick I like to keep hidden. Ooh, okay. That's nice. 
Let's see what the opponent has here. Watch it be like a blue-black thief. Oh, search. Okay. That's not a thief card. Not usually. We're going to play out the misbinder for damage. And then start beating face. Ta-da! Every format starts to slowly evolve into modern, by the way, is, is my theory. Um, every format that's... Ooh, okay. Ah, uh, couldn't get the other misbinder out in time. Every format that's modern or newer, or you know, newer than modern, evolves into modern over time. You get cards like your shock lands, you're going to get your fetch lands, you get your ley lines, you get your staple, yeah. Also, because of the way that they push creatures nowadays, creatures are more likely to be seen in modern, and so those creatures that have been seen in modern look like modern cards. For obvious reasons. I'm waiting for Kaya's ra oh, primal amulet, oh no. Oh no. Alright. Two for two. I am not sure if I should play the Weaver here too just for more damage. Let's see, this is five right now. If I play the Weaver, I'll have a two turn clock out. And the triple Tempest Caller. I'm at 20, so. I don't know that there's any creature that I need to lock down that Tempest Caller won't do a good enough job of taking out. So this is how many cards in the yard? Three, okay. Cool. Stop! Stop! Yeah. Yeah. So that happened. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, play Tempest Caller instead, because A, they know about it, B, I'll get one more point of damage if I play Tempest Caller, then Mistbinder. Someone should just not let me play Magic. Love how the hair over the course of the video has moved. It's migrated back behind my head. Hmm. Let's attack first. Hello. Kill it. Vraska's Contempt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that only needs one more counter, I think. Four more. Needs four. Okay. Yeah, that resolves. Rip and Pepperoni. Alright. Hello? There Hello? Oh, okay, okay, we're in combat still. It didn't skip me out of it. You have no creatures. Would you like to go to damage? Huh. Okay. Whale. Whale. So many lands. Too many lands. Too many lands. Too many lands. This is admittedly probably... I think it's my worst matchup. I believe. Alright. Let's make it green. Cool. 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 Call that end of turn. <sighs> yeah, you get to you get to go for it. Do your thing. Chemister's insight. Revitalize. Cool. Hmm. And again, there's a chemist's insight, so. They're really quickly about to, uh, about to have that amulet online. Jeez. Why? Why? 
Now it's a land too. It's a land. It's a land. Ixalan. It's a land. I cannot believe I just realized that. Jeez. Alright, on to my turn. Murphic Trickster gets countered. Yeah, we're just gonna do it here. We'll we'll hold up Trickster and see where we go from there. Insight, draw a bunch of cards. Draw all of the cards. <sighs> Folks. Folks. We're not technically dead yet, but it's really not looking good. Cry. I cry every time. Yeah, no. Let's do two damage, I guess. Maybe. We're not gonna actually play that island. Hmm, maybe I should though. Revitalize. Yay! Gain six life, draw two cards. Oof. Oof. Oh no. We're not dead yet, but we are really stinking close to it. Devious cover up. Ah. Uh. No. That's it. That's it. Yeah, with the counter spell too. Whew. That'll do it. Well, okay. I hope to end that on a high note, but we're still going to keep playing. We're going to go into our decks, do Karn Mud, and this is the deck. Now I have some cards to add to it, some cards I may have just recently gotten. Let's see. Let's look at some of what we might have seen. Yeah, some of those cards look really weird. It's because uh, some of these are sideboard cards. Because it's Karn Mud. And yes, it means that Karn. What am I... Hmm, I know I'm missing something. Let's see. Alright, so you're definitely in. For sure. Let's, uh... Let's sort by War of the Spark and 2020. Something else I got recently. Oh, was it Vile? No. Hmm. Nope, that's it. That's it. Alright, I need to take a card out. You see what the deck is trying to do already. Hmm. Got Pharaoh's statue maybe goes down to two. Yeah. I think that's fair. It's legendary. It's a six drop. I think that's fair to go down to two. And there's one in the sideboard too. Okay, so let's see how many uncommons. I have four uncommons. Um Go into our lane. What is this? Oh, it's lands. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a mobilized district. That's the other one I got. Put that in, take out a swamp. And then, I guess, if I want to use my, if I want to burn my uncommons, I can do that on cryptic caves. 
which would make the deck a little bit more powerful. It still leaves me 14 swamps. I think that's fine. Um, I don't know if I want to burn them, though, to be honest. Maybe I should. It's probably the correct thing to do. I'll tell you what, I'll just do one. It's the kind of card that can lose its utility the more you have. Do not collected lands. There we go. Cryptic Caves. We'll craft it. Finish the deck. Take out a swamp. And we'll call it there for now. Now it's time to run some Karn Mud. Alright, we only need two more wins. That's it, just two more wins. There's a red version too. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Okay. Ooh, alright. Ready. Fight. Boo Boo. Okay. Boo Boo, you were in for a treat. This is a bad deck. <laughs> it's fun. I should not keep this hand. I'm, I'm fine. I'm on the draw and I have a scry. So I'll keep it. Once you make it to three, you can usually just do whatever you want from there. Hey, got there. Alright. Let's not reveal anything just yet. Full control, I said. Ah, right, there we go. Oh, as Evangeline calls it, Lava Kitty. It's the Lava Kitty. It's cute. River Sneak is. This is gonna. This isn't going to work. All right, let's scry. Get our scry on. Um. Sure. The way I can do Eldest Reborn in two turns. I can chain Eldest Reborn. That seems good. That seems like a good play. Alright, what you got? Play a Merfolk, hit me for two? Yeah, it can't be blocked. That matters a lot. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, if this counted as a tribal merfolk spell, which it should, <laughs> in my totally not biased opinion, it should. All right. Manifold Key. Well, we have double Power Stone Shard, so Manifold Key would be nice in that con- You know what? We're going to keep it. That's fine. It also synergizes with Karn. Now, I could do Geode, or I could do Shard. We're going to cast Eldest, Born, Eldest Reborn next turn anyway. And I did keep Key on top, so let's do Power Stone. Alright, let's see. Now, Merfolk Diver. After this, I can go Swamp, Void, Void. Get another Power Stone. Power Stone, Power Stone, Swamp. Oh, fun. This is not going to be good. At all. Oh, god. Uh-oh. Feels bad. This is going to be too slow. What we're doing is, is cool, it's powerful, but it's too slow. Alright, so let's do that thing I just said. Hello? Okay, there we go. Tap. 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 Just to make sure it doesn't tap the Power Stone or the other Swamp. I'm going to do Power Stone Shard, and then use those to get out Eldest Reborn, which makes them just sack their Hexproof creature, that's all. My hope is that I can chain these in together quickly enough that I'll actually be able to get something done. Something. Anything. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you don't have the mana to proliferate later. Deep Root Elite. Okay. Uh, this is not looking good. Not looking good at all, folks. 
Yeah, we're, we, we don't win this one. We're too slow. We're going to have a ton of mana to work with. We're going to have approximately all of the mana to work with, but we're, it's not going to be enough. So right now we have eight mana. Make you discard a card. So we can go one, two, three, four. Uh, well, if I do manifold key, one, two. Uh, so one for the key, key to untap the shard, which kind of makes the key for free. And that's okay. Uh, so that's fine. We'll do that, I guess. One, two. Spend it on key. And the reason that matters, the reason getting the key for free kind of works, is that Karn makes a big token. And as it turns out, big tokens are good. All right. So we're back to where we started. Tiny problem here. Um, teeny tiny problem here. I cannot do Eldest Reborn and Karn this turn, no matter what. And then I lose. Um, let's see. Pretty sure I lose. Yeah. <sighs> We're just too slow. We're just too slow. We're doing some stuff, but we're too slow. Spell Pierce. Oh. I was gotten by Spell Pierce. The, the mud deck was gotten by Spell Pierce. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see, five on board, but it's going to be more than that. I'm actually dead here. Because they're going to hit me for five. The next turn, no matter what I do, this can't be blocked. So I'm going to say good game. I said I'm going to say good game. And call it. It's, it's actually, so I swear this is not how it often goes. It's a fun deck. Although Double Eldest Reborn was kind of neat. That was kind of cool. Uh, my opponent can add won a game with Double Eldest Reborn on my opponent's side to their bucket list. Or check it off their bucket list. Uh, could use something to drink. Don't want to step away from the camera though. I should just stop talking for a little while, but no one wants to have a video where I'm not saying anything. That's boring. Cryin78. Let's try this again. Alright. Hmm. Alright, so turn two, globe to draw, turn three, geode. Depending on what we have, we might go Icy Manipulator and hold up one to tap stuff down, or Vraska's Contempt, or Eldest Reborn. We get to choose our own adventure. Uh oh. Oh, no! Shout out to Knuckles. Ooh. Lava Tiger. Lava Tiger. Rootbound Crag? Okay. Pass. What do you think I'm on? If you had to guess, opponent, what do you think I might be on? Ooh. <sighs> Let's do it. Let's do it. And that's why we scribed there. See what we have. Opponent, what you got? Mm. 
Gruel Spellbreaker. But is it hexproof as long as it's your turn? Riot Trample. Okay, so we made it bigger. Giggity. Get some mana. Play some Karn next turn. No, actually, we're... Oh, crap. What's the... Uh... Ooh. I'll keep that, actually. We haven't seen anything lower than three, though, so it, it might just be a nice little one-for-one. One. Hopefully, we can get a tiny bit more out of it. Just a little bit. Uh, if they don't play something here, we're going to Eldest Reborn. <sighs> Alright, what you got? What you got, opponent? Do you have any earthly idea what I'm... Okay. That's fine. That's a Ritual of Soot. Alright. Play this. Ritual. Don't let them ramp. Don't let them get double green. Nice two for one. That's all we need. All you need in life. Because it's hexproof on their turn, it makes Icy Manipulator really awkward. Why are you Australian? No, seriously, why are you Australian? <laughs> why why is that the question I'm asking, actually? Alright, we're still gonna hold up on Karn. We're not there yet. I'm just gonna make our opponent's life miserable. Alright, which one would you like to sack? That is a legit question here. Okay, so they maybe don't need the- well, they don't need the double green. You've got Domri, no matter what. You've got Domri. Alright. Worst comes to worst, I can use Raska's Contempt to get rid of Domri. If I need to. Okay. Hey, Ripjaw. There you go. Uh huh. Well, I'd like to find a way to kill Ripjaw Raptor. Because I would like to take it. Alright, what are you going to give me? What would you like to give me, opponent? play anything. I can play anything. If I play Karn and Plus, it doesn't do much, it just buys a turn. Uh, Vraska's Contempt to get rid of it. I think now that I'm running my opponent so low on resources, I can afford to just stall. Play Vraska's Contempt, exile it, gain two life, And just call it a day. Next turn, if my opponent doesn't play anything, I'll play God Pharaoh's statue. Yeah, this is the deck doing its thing. Okay. What you got? And thankfully, this Domery doesn't have an ult. Can't be countered, pro blue, gains your choice of reach, trample, or haste until end of turn. And that requires green. Um... Yeah, Spellbreaker. Plus one, plus one counter. Reach, Trample, or Haste. Now that I have that on board... Let's see... So the God Pharaoh statue is a tiny bit awkward here, in that now that they have so few cards in hand, making their spells cost more doesn't do very much. Pro blue. You know what, that's not pro though. Colorless.
we could really mess with our opponent. In fact, I fully intend to do just that. Yeah, we have Karn. We'll get to you, Karn. We'll get to you. We're just busy being jerks. Yeah, that resolves. That's a 4-3. That's a thing. That is a thing. Alright, let me know when you're ready to go. Come on! Come on! Get my Fox McCloud on. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. That's fine. That didn't actually ends up kind of working out, I suppose. It's not as good as I would like. I would like to trade a 6-4 for a 4-4. But instead, we're just going to settle for tapping this thing down every turn. Just not letting them have their way. At all. At all. Domri Dinosaurs. Alright. Zalfir and Void. Play it out, see what we get. Opponent, what could you be doing? Strike me in response? Uh... If you're gonna be a bit, I'm gonna grab a drink real quick. I'll be right back. Let's grab some water. I know it's not particularly professional to walk out like that. I'm sorry. Um, but my throat is kind of getting sore, so... Sorry about that. And also, of course I'm going to be playing in my pajamas. Who doesn't, right? Alright. Please, opponent, are you... Wait. Are you just... Roping me? Is that what they call it? Is that what the kids call it these days? When you just burn all your timeouts for the sake of making your opponent tilt? Hey, it gives me time to take a sip. Gulp. Uh, that might be what we're doing. Because there's only one card in hand, how difficult can the decision be? Oh, okay. Well, we, we got there. Um, no, I don't need more lands. I'm fine. That might be what we did. Alright. Well... Sure, we're gonna do it. We might, we might as well do it. Car in time. Look at the random assortment of artifacts in my sideboard here. The absolutely, utterly random assortment. Um, kind of want to just get Juggernaut. Just to do it. Just to be that guy. Um, you know what? We're just going to go with Meteor Golem. Play an arcane encyclopedia, and then we'll pass the turn. Just gonna keep our cursor right over here, wait for it. Not let our opponent ever attack, ever in the history of ever. When the Meteor Golem comes down, it has to take out the Domri, I believe. Uh, because they could draw a card, or draw a creature, play the creature, and then use Domri to fight 
and take out my meteor golem. Eh. I could try to leave a naked Domri and then just attack Domri on the next turn. Hey, got there. So the most frustrating deck in standard that I've seen, like, I don't know. It's frustrating for both of us because sometimes the deck just draws air. Ooh, Carnival to Carnage. Carnival and Carnage? Eh. Hmm. One more. One more win. Then we'll call it there. One more win. Unamas. We can do it. You can bluff a spell by <laughs> with control. Yep. Yep, that's what I do. That's what I try to do. Oh, you know what? Flavor fail. Why am I not playing Karn right now? Ah, oh, such a flavor fail. I, I done goofed. I lose. <laughs> Alright, barrier time. Let's see. It's in some matchups it can feel like ramp. Please go off. There we go. <laughs> Please get off the screen. If I do get one more, like if I lose this, I am I'm gonna switch my profile to Karn. Shout out to Karn. You're a good dude. Okay, nope, exiled. No ramp. This feels like Drake's. Mana mana mana. Mana mana mana. Yeah, Josu is a nice little win condition, too. Uh, ten mana. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Well, I mean, that card's going to be dead before long anyway, so that's that's a fine time to use it, I suppose. God Eternal Kefnet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, Josu, you're a four or five minutes, aren't you? Please? Hello? Hello? Computer? Hello? Four or five minutes. Okay. Uh... Alright. So we're going on the Karn is going to make a bunch of tokens plan, I believe. So if I go up to six, I can draw a card. Kefnet can hit Karn. Um, and then I can sack Karn to make a dude, then play another Karn. So that's what we're going to do. It's probably the case that my opponent has a shock, though. Ooh. Gee, I wonder. Yeah. Well, that Mystic Forge might be nice. Alright. I'm sorry, Karn. Uh-oh. Oh, you don't have haste. This game is over. Of all the games to have Karn, you would think this would be the one to have Karn as my profile. Alright, well, play that because, you know, have to. Um, set Karn to make a dude. Uh oh, I only have five. Uh oh. Oh no. So what I could do, instead of playing the other Karn here, is I could go Power Stone, Gleaming Barrier, have a 3-3, but that's not... That's not enough. Alright, Karn, do your, do your thing. Alright. Let's get on the Karn squad here. Karn dies. I play another Karn. Or I play the two artifacts so that I have four fours. Ooh, fun. Alright, let's see what you got. What's in your hand? Let's get that trigger going. What is this? Uh, it's Crackling Drake. Ooh, yeah, it is Drake's, as it turns out. Go figure.
Hmm, okay. Yeah, Crackling Drake every turn seems good. Seems alright. Alright. Well, we're just gonna play three artifacts and hope that'll do it. And then next turn we'll play Karn. Trade one of our Karn Strucks for the Boar God. Ilarg. Ilarg. Alright, what you got? What you got, opponent? What you gonna do? <sighs> okay. We're fine. They burned that on you instead of Karn. No attacks. Alright. Whale. Wasn't something that Kefnet could use. We'll take that. We'll take that. That might be why. Just to force through a little bit more damage. Um... You know, the barrier here... You have trample. Probably best to just burn both of these guys, right? We're not going to be able to put up enough damage to kill our opponent next turn anyway. Alright. What you gonna do? Alright. Third from the top. That's something to look forward to. Crackling Drake's gonna go back to hand. I believe is how that works. End of turn, right? Oh, no, wait, does it only go back if you... Oh. Oh, no, no, there it is. That's right. Okay, we, we got there. Uh... Why? Why? Oh, God, why? Um, well, I'm at five. I'm about to be at seven. We're gonna do this now so that God Eternal Kefnet can't do his shenanigans. Ooh, okay. That's fair. You're gonna dig your way through the... You know, you know what's there. You know what's there. Alright. Now Kefnet gets to do its thing. This is an oh no 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 zone. Actually, we're just gonna concede here. That's fine. We're gonna concede here. Yeah, they they're gonna hit us, play either one of those two, and then we can't kill them. All right, profile switch. Profile switch. We're doing it now. We are remembering to do that now. Uh, change avatar. There we go. Indeed. Oh, I haven't played that. The last time I played ranked was when Evangeline was here. She's a sweetie. She's a sweetheart. Season ends in 20 days. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother. Probably should. I don't know. It, it... I don't know. I was for a while back when Guilds of Ravnica was a thing. But... I think that was also, if I remember correctly, and I may be wrong about this, back when the only way you could get your rewards, the only way you could play, was, uh, no, 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 you could play against the bot to get rewards, couldn't you? Or did you have to play ranked? I don't know. So I was playing a bunch of weird stuff in ranked. Opponent goes first. Okay, let's go for it. There are also some wild cards I'd like to spend for stuff in this deck that I just haven't yet. Um, so for example, a rare wild card on the on Ugin would be nice. Ugin would be nice for this deck. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that. Uh, but I haven't spent the wild card. More Karn Great Creators, maybe? Uh, let's go. Hello. Gleaming Barrier. Long as I can, let them think I'm on some weird black brew. 
And Ritual Soot, it, even if it kills the barrier, I'll get a treasure token out of it. Oh, this is going to be hot. This is going to be hot. If I can just find another land, please scry into a land. That is a land. Okay. Yeah, we'll just play the barrier. Why not? Prevent a bit of damage. Alright. Do stuff. Do stuff. Don't have a counterspell. Don't have a counterspell. I'm betting you don't. I'm betting you don't. Main board negate. Why? Okay. Well. Let's just do it. Just do it! Treasure! Treasure time. Yes, I know. That is a lot of counters. That is a whole lot of counters. It's better than taking a ton of damage here, though. Also... Oh. Hmm. Oh, wait, which Kaya? Hi, Kaya. Yeah, you get to resolve. Okay, cool. What's your ult again? Mine is five. Hmm. I better find something real quick. Or I guess I can just contempt you. That wouldn't be bad. Just to get you out of the way. While well, you don't have counterspell mana up, I'll just contempt you here. Gain two back. Yeah, that's yeah, Kaya. She's a ghost, so that sounds about right. Alright. Let's get our scry on, see what we have. Uh. Not necessary. No, not necessary. This is not going to resolve. Well, no, maybe I should do Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna crack a statue here. See if we can get it to resolve. Oh it did! Hey, okay. Make our opponent's spells cost more. I am a-okay with that. Alright. Well, alright. We're gonna be real mean here. Uh, do I put a stop? I could burn this treasure just to tap one of their cards down. And I actually think that I want to do that. All right. So, we're gonna do Icy Manipulator. I'm going to tap down, and the reason is because... Let's see, black, black, there's so much black mana here. Um... Glacial Fortress. Because since I have uh, God Pharaoh's statue out, I can prevent them from doing a good number of things they would otherwise like to do. This is a, this is a fun deck, folks, I swear. I'm a, I'm a real fun guy to be around. Alright, I gotta land. Play Karn. Hi, Karn. I love that flavor text. I love that quote. So it's a little risky. They could have removal to get rid of it. That is true. But it's a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> right. Once again, we'll put a stop on our opponent's upkeep. Let's move to end of turn. Pass. No, let's not let them pass. Let's tap down... Glacial Fortress again. See if we can keep our opponent off of something like Kaya's Wrath. Vraska's Contempt in response. Gee, I wonder what that's targeting. Yeah, unfortunately. Sorry, Karn. I maybe should have gotten something out of the sideboard. Oh well. Oh well. 
Hmm. Why are you still ticking down? When you're doing an animation, why do you tick down? I don't like that. Alright, scry. No. Alright, and uh... Pass the turn. It's gonna do its thing. Poke them for one. Do a hallowed fountain this time, because why not? Uh-oh. It resolves. What would you like to do? Alright. And va vamos. Vamos. Pride mate. Okay, as long as it's just pride mate, I can live, because I can keep tapping that down every turn. We'll just do this. Hit them for one. It is, as it turns out, a life gain deck, though. And I am playing off the top. Ooh. Ah. <sighs> uh, well, hindsight is twenty twenty. Means no more planeswalkers, and this is a planeswalker deck. But we're still gonna get to do stupid, broken stuff like this. It's a very technical term. Stupid, broken stuff like this. Hmm. Alright. See what you got? You're doing the technically correct thing. Floating blue. Floating something. Yeah, those additional cards. Oof. I could really use something. Hostage taker. Just... Oh no! Oh no! Alright. Trigger, make them discard something. Yeah, that that's not where I want to be. That's not where I want to be at all. I'm about to get a Kaya, so I think I can live with that. But, no, no, not Kaya, because Immortal Sun. Alright, keep scrying to the bottom. Gotta find something. Gotta find an answer. Hmm. Not too worried. As you can see by the gratuitous amount of mana I have, I'm not too worried about my, uh. Oh dear. Pride mate. Okay. I'm not too worried about how much things are going to cost. Guess make it you. Alright, hit me for three. Come on! This game was going so well, and then I just didn't draw anything. Oh no! Okay. Well, I guess. Mm. Poor Liliana. Well, you still have a static effect, so we'll still play you. Let's see. Proceed. Hello? I said... Okay, right, there we go. Alright. Yes, you can draw an additional card. Alright. Well... That Eldest Reborn could have gone a little bit better. Just maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, okay, draw a card here. See what I get. There we are. Stuff is happening. Is there any card in this deck that can save me from here? Not Ritual of Soot. Actually, I've already used that, haven't I? No, I haven't, have I? No, I haven't. 
I mean, it's not the be-all, end-all. It wouldn't hurt, though. Oath of Kaya. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Hello? There we go. Just one more game. That's all I need. All I need. One more game. Uh. So this deck does have a lot of air, which is one of the reasons why the Cryptic Caves would be better. The more I could have of those, the better. I think I actually should craft one more now. I think I will. I'll craft one more. Double click. Let's look at our lands real quick. Ooh, hello. Hello, what did I just do? Alright. Craft another one. Yeah, I'm glad it's just an uncommon. Take a swamp out. Uh, I should just do it for all of them. I should add an Ugin. I should do something. Ugin for Josu. That would be actually pretty sick. Um, I should. I should do that. Jay, why are you not doing that? One more. One more win. One more win. Until you have lived as a statue, do not speak to me of pigeons. Right, we're almost there. We're almost there. Get, get stuff done. One more. Waiting at nine seconds for about nine seconds. <laughs> nitwit. Okay, if I can't beat a nitwit, we're done. That's it. If I can't beat a nitwit, we're done. <laughs> Alright, opponent goes first. We'll keep. Shaper Sanctuary. That does exactly jack all against me. Alright, and there goes my turn. Alright, cool. Oh, it's Merfolk. Merfolk can be played by a nitwit. No, it's fine. Alright, Zelfrin Void. Scry one. Void. Um I don't really need any more mana. I mean it's it's pretty soon to be the case that I won't. I need interaction. For this matchup. I do. And there's a former version of this deck that had things like cast out in it. Draw a card. It's a mana geode. Geodude. Geodude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I might lose to a nitwit. ba da ba da ba ba No, that's not a card I need for this matchup. That's fine in some, not this one. Too slow, man. You're too slow. Well, no, it's fine. So far, they only have a creature. So I'm going to pretend that's alright and run with it. I'm going to pretend that's okay. And if I top deck a land... No, I won't top deck. That's scry, Jay, not draw. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't work. I can use Karn to try to draw some fire here. That might not be a bad idea. Buy me a turn. Hmm. Oh, boy. Yes, I know, I'm about to get timed. It's only buying me some time, though. If 
If I don't top deck a land, this is going to hurt. Karn, be my be my Gideon Jura. Which one are we getting? Maybe it's Juggernaut. I said, okay, there we go. Got there. <sighs> Alright, that's not great. It's really not great. Got the Mewtwo King wobble going on now. It might cause Deep Root to attack Karn and buy me just a touch of time. Or that can happen and Eldest Reborn can just. Uh. Well, that's really good with Deep Root Elite. It's really good. I hear that's a decent card. Now, the text on Curious Obsession you have to deal damage to a player. So because they put the counter on Deep Root, they can't kill Karn this turn, is what I'm seeing. So they're not even going to bother. Not even going to bother. Okay, so this is this might be okay. What I'm going to try to do here, try to do here, it's not going to work though, is I'm going to not draw land. There we go. That's step one. Not draw land. Mystic Forge. Let's see, can we get there? Alright, Karn plus. Targeting Mystic Forge. It's a 4 4 now. Hello? It, it is as soon as the game lets it. And this will be a blocker for Deep Root until they draw another Merfolk and play it and then give it a counter and then I cry. Like that. I'm gonna give him the good game. As soon as it'll let me. Hello? Hello? Good game. Yeah, you got me. Well, that's it. That's it. I lost to a nitwit, and therefore, uh, I am... What's what's worse than a, nit, a nitwit? An ignoramus? I don't know. An idiot. There we go. I'm from the south. An idiot. <laughs> Alright. That's it for now. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.